everybody nice to see you merry christmas so this is our last show before christmas lovely to see you all with us and um, we've got the christmas hats on and the dogs have got their christmas kerchiefs on and alfie's hiding don't know where alfie is he's somewhere around here yeah just just you know. just showing off my new jumper look oh i told you my husband's a hunk <laughs> It's real. It's, it's all real. real. All real. <laughs> no one can see your head though. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thanks for joining us. And um, this is um is this number four of Sorry. Luscious? This is number three of Techniques on Luscious. And with it being Christmas, we would like to give away to three people um a choice of your uh three luscious each so three people will win this prize at random so all you need to do is look at the bottom of your screen and you just need to uh like comment and share so um get liking get commenting and get sharing you only need to say hi you don't need to say anything you know too complicated um but thank you very much for sharing everybody and i really appreciate your support this year it has been a rotten year hasn't it and it has been really difficult um for everybody and i just like to say without getting too soppy um that uh, your support for our little company is really really appreciated because without you we wouldn't be able to do what we love so I want to take the time to thank you for supporting us for buying our products uh for watching these videos and sharing the love and um yeah huge thank you alfie's nodding so right what we're going to do today so um we've done two other issue um videos of um luscious which you can find on our youtube channel which is called no, you can't. You find them on facebook oh you find them on facebook sorry you find them on facebook so you can re-watch them and this one is going to include some resin and also some fabric technique as well so i think this is going to run and run because there are so many different techniques you can use with luscious um and yeah come january we're going to have new ones out so i can't wait to show you those um so first of all let's get cracking with some of our um luscious in kits and onto fabric so do you want to come on down here Mm -hmm. lovely so I've got all mine in kits um, as we sell them on the uh, website now so we've got all different kits which I showed you last week actually if you didn't see that you can see that we've got nice kits of five so that you know you've got loads to choose from of course you can buy them individually but um, we also have them in kits so what are we going to do so first of all um, I was experimenting a few years ago when we first brought out Luscious to see whether it would go onto fabric and I experimented with it onto just a normal cotton uh, t-shirt so just imagine this is a t-shirt and I've actually taped the section down of the t-shirt and um, I actually discovered that this super thick slap it on once it's dry it will go through the washing machine I couldn't believe it at 30 degrees it will go through your washing machine do not put it in the dryer which is why I'm not showing you the original one that I did a few years ago because it started to crack um, it didn't flake off but it just sort of cracked um, so I'm just going to tape this down I should be using masking tape but I can't find it uh, this is a piece of cotton, but um, this will go on to different materials like a, a viscous mix or a cotton viscous mix, uh, man-made fibres and all that. I'm going to take some of this, slap it on. I'm going to just put it on my uh, paint mat here. I think that's probably far too much. So this is the ultra thick matte medium slap it on. Okay, really nice product. I'm going to split this into three. So I get three little batches of this. And I'm going to choose three colours. So what should we go for? Obviously, it's got to, got to be a blue, hasn't it? So let's go for Peacock, which is out, the, out of the Perfect Peacock kit. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that and mix it in with the slap it on thick 
and then you will notice that the color changes because you're mixing it with a white colored medium but this actually dries clear this medium so you will see the color really shine through when it's dry so it'll look a bit um chalky but as i say it will shine through once it's all nice and dry which um, will take not very long because it's an acrylic base people um ask me that all the time but to be honest it just depends how thick it is um how warm your room is um how humid it is let me just wipe that where's my rag but i would say half an hour and, it, and it's fine um if it's a warm room 10 minutes or so something like that you can heat it up uh, or speed it up with a um hair dryer or a heat gun but just be careful of the fabric you don't want to burn the fabric okay um, and you don't want to put too much heat on it because then you are just going to um, make it bubble unless of course that's what you'd like to happen so what else did i use there i used the bullfinch from in the pink set and then i'm going to use purple uh, which is crushed velvet and that's from the mermaid kit so again i'm just using the tip of my spatula there and then mixing that in so just to recap if you haven't seen the other two our luscious powder is actually made up of ground up pigment and that's why they're so special and then we actually add um, mica to them and then we add a binder i've just got to say some hellos Janine, Brian, happy Christmas, darling. I know, crazy Christmas jumper. <laughs> you should see his hat. Janine, Brian. Okay. Brain, sorry. Well, you know, I can't read. <laughs> uh, Andrea, hello. Sylvia, hello. Lorna, darling, lovely to see you here. Um, <laughs> who said that, Lorna? Blimey, I didn't realise it was Monday. I know the days are just flying past, aren't they? and then that is the crush velvet from the mermaid section so what i'm going to do is try and keep this as flat as possible so it doesn't go underneath because it's just, um, just kind of recap exactly what you're doing because a few people have joined since you started all right so um basically i'm just showing you how you can use luscious onto fabric so imagine this is a t-shirt underneath that i've actually taped down so it's nice and taut and then i've put a stencil over the top and then what i've done is i've just mixed the super thick slap it on with the luscious now this isn't always sold as a fabric slap it on but i experimented a few years ago when we first brought this out and i put it on a t-shirt and put it through the washing machine at 30 degrees and it didn't budge it looked great um so don't put it in the dryer but a cool cold wash and it's absolutely fine um so that's what i'm using here and i've colored three colors because i just want to swipe over them with these so i'm using the purple is a crushed velvet the pink is um bullfinch and the blue is peacock so i'm just going to fill in some of these gaps and i'm keeping this at a 45 degree angle so that it's like spreading your butter okay so there's excess there but i'm going to use that in a minute i will just grab one of these just to tidy that up okay so what you need to do is to take this off um oh yes what i was saying also is it doesn't have to be 100 percent cotton it works on my made fibers or mixes as well and it looks fabulous on silk with it being just so translucent and of course it's going to dry translucent at the moment with it being wet it's mixed with the white so let me just get rid of that and then you've just got the piece at the top so you just lift the stencil at the bottom and you open it like a door and then you can just take one corner let me just bring that down take one corner and then just pull that away cleanly okay and then that goes straight into your bucket of water excuse me a minute because it will dry on there and then it's very difficult to get off so there you have it it's 
gorgeous isn't it that lovely now it'll look even better when it's dry because it's going to go translucent and then once it's dry you can actually color the rest of the cotton if you wanted to with our paints or just leave it as is but i'm really pleased with that that looks lovely so with the excess i'm just going to grab a piece of i'm not going to, going to leave all this on here so you can just use it just to Put some texture onto a tag and I, I love doing this if I've got any bits left over or of course you can use your stencil again but I just like using all the different colours and the texture on that is just delicious in fact I've probably got one let me just clean my stencil brush so I've got some in here i tell you what i'll show you those in a minute because i'm going off piste so let me just stick with my um, sample first okay so the next one i'd like to show you is stamping onto fabric okay so what i've got here let me just move that a minute Sorry, just bear with. This is the trouble with lots and lots of demonstrations. You get set up, but you need to just tidy up as you go along. Okay, so what I've got here again is a piece of cotton. This is quite fine lawn cotton. Um, it's actually really, really cheap. Um, and I'm going to show you how to paint onto fabric as well. So I'm just going to get my stamping platform. And it is useful to have a stamping platform for this technique okay so and i've actually stuck this down to a piece of card then i can move it around without it um flopping around or anything so if it's a, a larger piece obviously just have it coming out this way but the area that you want to stamp just stick it down tuck it behind or whatever just so that it, it's nice and flat and then i'm going to stamp onto the fabric with this lovely stamp which is from the hummingbird and peony which i absolutely love and this is actually um not one of janine's this is one of mine isn't it mm -hmm. um so I got carried away. alfie got carried away yeah <laughs> so i was everything thinking was yeah everything was by janine at this point um but no this is one of mine okay so i'm going to use this lovely big stamp which is wow it must be about five inches yeah about five inches by four inches now onto fabric you can of course use um fabric inks okay like the eyes ink fabric textile um, ink pads you can also stamp with our paints as well our indigo blue paints are actually made for fabric but um, if you just want um, to what, what have I done there look at that honestly can't take me anywhere can you I've got to just wash my hands a little bit because I'm going to end up with getting ink all over my fabric so do apologize so this is a versafine claire okay so this is great for fabric if you want if you're not going to be washing it say like a, a wall hanging or or making a the outside of a bag or whatever because it gives you a really good crisp outline okay which is great and don't worry about this area which is not 100% clear so keep your stamp exactly where it is don't move that because we're going to be re-stamping once we've coloured and this is going to give you a really lovely technique let me just put some waste paper in there okay and then we're actually going to get some colour on here so um, let's go for something like lawn we're going to have some lawn let me move that so we've got a clean palette to work from 
let's go for um, some blues. Yeah, let's go for teal. Um, and let's go for maybe some pinks and reds. How about fuchsia blue? Actually, that'll go really nicely with this. So, Sylvia, hello, darling. Julia, sorry, so pleased with you doing the show last week on Hachanda. I hope everyone caught it. Um, all the techniques were just superb. Um, thank you very much. Gwen, lovely to see you. Christine, Sultan, uh, Linda. <laughs> Linda, so I'm having to catch up. Don't worry, you can always watch it back. Don't worry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is mix some of these colours with our Slap It On fabric. So this is a true fabric um, medium. Okay, this is absolutely superb. So this enables you to paint onto fabric. So just put a little bit, I'm going to leave it there so that you can, you can see that. Stay where you are. So I'm just going to take um, a bigger brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and then with my damp brush I'm just going to dip it into the lawn. Is it lawn? Yes it is. And I'm going to mix that in with the slap it on fabric to give you the colour. Okay. Again, I'm going to take some slap it on, dip it in the teal and mix that in to the slap it on. Now my brush is wet and that's fine as long as it's just damp. You don't want to add loads of water. Okay, I think I might want it a bit stronger. So you start off with just a little bit of luscious in there, but if you want it a stronger colour, this is going to look, this green is going to look more like a glaze, but the blue is a bit heavier. Okay, clean my brush again. Hi May. Hi Viola. And then I've got my lovely fuchsia blue with the slap it on fabric. So this is a duotone, so you can see that there's that beautiful pink, but when the light hits it, it's going to actually um, flash blue as well. Okay. And then I'm going to swap to a smaller brush like these. So um, let's start off with a, a bit of the green on these leaves here. So with the pigment and the luscious, you, you could end up covering over these black marks. Now, because I've made this just a very, very delicate glaze, you can see I only put a tiny bit of luscious in with the slap it on fabric, you can still see the lines. But if I take this blue teal, and I actually use this, where should we go with this? Let's do some little mark making on his breast here. This is actually going to cover up some of the line work underneath. So the more luscious you have in, the more pigment you're adding, and therefore the more of the line work you're going to obliterate. But that's why um, we used a stamping platform. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do after that. Hi, Bella. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. So our friend from Texas online. We're getting lots of lovely new people coming to us, which is really nice to hear. So I'm just painting this on just the way I would normally. I forgot to do the reminder email today. Yeah, Alf, Alfie didn't have time to do the email to, to everyone, so don't worry. Got more chance of winning a, a set of luscious <laughs> if there's less people commenting. Right, so you can see that I'm just painting on and I'm mixing the green with, that's the lawn, sorry, 
the lawn with the teal okay so if i come to this lovely fuchsia blue so i've got quite a bit of pigment in here so i'm just going to take it into the center of the flower so we get a darker area like so and then we can mix in a lighter one for the edges i think i will have a little bit dark in the center here just so it gives it some depth of color hi margaret nice of you to join us there we go so all you need to do with this is just follow the lines because it's all done for you so you don't have to panic about where should we put the color because all the line work is going to do that for you so i'm going to come out of there and get i think i probably need um a lighter a lighter pink right so i tap these before i open them because they they are very full and they can look really um right to the top so they can actually i only keep them upside down because um then i can see the colors easily so i'm getting this this is literally called pink and i'm going to run that from the top into those petals that i've already done and then it blends beautifully hi linda ask you to join us so linda's asking what's happening with the um dirty weekend cardiff yet no idea. <laughs> <The rules laughs> Alfie, Alfie says no idea. The rules keep changing. Um, as far as we're concerned, it's it's going. Well, everything's going ahead next year. I don't know whether you can hear Alfie, but he's basically saying, as far as we're concerned, everything's going ahead right. as planned. Um, but we obviously have to take account of whatever the government says. Um, we did hold one in Maidstone in between the, the lockdowns, which was really successful. And we had all COVID um, uh, parameters in place, including um, masks and cleanliness and individual kits. And um, we had a, a, a room twice the size with half the number of people. So um, it worked really well. So yeah, we will be emailing people um, depending on what's but obviously closer, much closer yeah much much time. closer to the time um, but the great news is that you know um, vaccinations have already started um, so by next year we don't know but we're just hopeful um, but we had to just book the hotels just in case um, and everything so you can see I'm getting some tone there and Kerry's saying, I'm going to try and overcome my fabric fear in 20 to 1. <laughs> oh, Kerry, you can do anything, honey. Um, Kerry's one of our very talented design team. Okay, so once you've started to do that, um, let me just move to this one. So you can see that when it dries, there we go. You can see the sh shimmer and shine from the mica comes out and the pigment is beautiful because you know you're getting the depth of color but you're also getting that shine onto fabric which is just brilliant so that's the beauty of it and because it's using the fabric slap it on it means that you can actually wash this so all you need to do is either leave it to cure for a week or two and then it, it's permanent or you can iron it on the back just with a uh, and a normal iron um, and then it's set but if it's on a piece where you can't iron it like a shoe or whatever um, then don't worry it will just cure over time so what we did next is we took our stamping platform back let me just move these out of the way Jay Shree's just asked do you iron fabric to set the paints um, again, it's the same thing. Um, if you want, um, she's asking, do you iron 
the fabric to set the paints well no you don't have to it will cure naturally whoops wrong one hang on it will cure naturally over time so again one or two weeks and it and it's cured or you can iron the back and then it's cured immediately um just an, a normal iron will do and then you can actually wash it at 30 degrees um let me just put these back pink Alf is gone to get me the shoe okay so this is done with our paints so these are the flat colors um, that Al has used here Al, our daughter's done this so this is townhouse teal this one is vintage rose and this one is marshmallow okay and apparently it costs a fortune to get painted trainers but Ella's done it herself cheap trainers well mm -hmm. discount trainers and do it yourself so um so yeah but what I've done is to um ensure that um because I know that she'll get them muddy and then she'll start scrubbing them I've actually put another couple of coats of the um the fabric slap it on over the top just to protect it and I think I'll probably put an She's going to do the marshmallows again to make it brighter. And I think I'll probably put some more on just to protect it. But it looks fantastic, doesn't it? And you can do the same with this technique. So the lush is mixed with the fabric slap it on. Whoops, a daisy. Mixed with the fabric slap it on. And that will give you the same result. Only it will be nice and shiny. Okay, let me just move these out of the way. Because otherwise... Um, Oh, it's just Di, Di, hello darling, lovely of you to join us, great to see you, missing you as always, um, where's this one from? Oh. Carol, Caroline's asked, has Ella worn them yet? She's, she hasn't been allowed, has she? Has, has Ella worn them? No, she hasn't, she hasn't, I'm waiting for her to do that marshmallow again, oh. um, so I'm just going to uh, dry that off, bear with me for a second while I do this. See also the heat from that because it's so strong is, is going to set this anyway. So what I intend to do is let's and just move this. Scenario, I don't know it's in relation to the stone. Yeah. What do you mean? Okay, just carry on. Sorry. Alfie doesn't believe that I actually oh, can. Oh, okay, it was set in there. <laughs> yeah. Alfie doesn't think that I'm going to get the stamp in the same place, but that's it's what a stamping so platform much. is. Yeah. It's okay. Trust me, I'm a crafter. Now, now it's all going to go wrong now that you <laughs> said that. <laughs> it jinxed me. Okay, so that's why I haven't moved the stamp at all. I've kept it in the stamping platform. And when you do this, you will find that you obliterate the line work because obviously the pigment of the mica will cover up the black lines. So what you do is obviously you keep your stamp in the stamping platform until you've finished. So just imagine this is all beautifully coloured in. And then I'm going to come in with my um, Versafine ink because I'm not going to wash this. And I'm just going to go over that uh, tail feathers and the peony, okay? And then you'll see the difference between the two. This is when I, I pray that <laughs> I haven't messed it up. <laughs> Yay! So you can see now you've got your line work back and it's a lot fresher, a lot more crisp. Um, and then you get that beautiful colouring in, but you also get the line work as well. And then when it's when it's fully dry, can you see that? If I give it a wiggle, oh, it's not showing up as well as I'd like. But that will be lovely and shiny. In fact, I'll show you on my bag here as well. So this is painted with our normal... Uh, translucent and matte paints and this shimmery area here is actually the fabric sparkles slap it on 
So this is just a glitter in our fabric sparkles, but it's it's a different recipe to this one because um, it needed to be a completely different recipe to hold that glitter in situ. But what I'm about to show you is that you can then go back in. Say this is um, a, a fabric that's already patterned and you just want to pick out some detail in here. So it might be that you just get your luscious mixed with your fabric slap it on and you want to just paint in some detail work here Linda's and this will asked what ink did you use to stamp with the ink i used to stamp with because i wasn't washing it is the versafine claire that will actually it is a pigment ink and that will actually stay pretty much on your fabric if you were to wash it bit by bit it would just um get lighter and lighter and lighter until it disappears um but because i wasn't um planning on washing that that's why I use this if you don't want it to disappear you can actually stamp with our paints which are a fabric paint or you can use um, a textile um, ink pad and these are coming to our website um, in January Julia's asked can you mix the luscious into the fabric sparkles too yeah, um, Julia's asked if you can mix the luscious into the fabric sparkles and yes absolutely I'll do that for you next so this is the luscious mixed with the fabric um, slap it on just to give you that color and sparkle so it's it's more of a sheen than a glitter sparkle like this one here but I can just show you that now so if I get some of the We'll just clean my brush and then I'm not contaminating it. And if I put a little bit of this on my paint mat, again, it looks white, but it will dry clear. Okay, so that's a little bit too much really, but it will be fine. And if I go with, um, let's go with a pale pink to go on here. So this is ballet slipper and again wet brush into your luscious and just mix it in. And if it's thick like this, if it goes quite thick because I've got a lot of luscious in there, just dampen my brush just to mix that in. There we go. So again this is white but it will dry um, transparent so you will just see the pink and the glitter so if I just put in fact if I go over this bit here can you see that one yes you can on the screen you can see it oh it, it's coming through already which is good okay that's why I chose a light color so hopefully you could see it work and this is brilliant for actually just putting um just putting maybe a little heart on a on a kiddie's t-shirt little girl's t-shirt or you know um highlighting um a green dragon with a bit of sparkle um or on your shoes or handbag or whatever let me give that a blast and see whether that will dry because it's it's not that thick bit too enthusiastic on that <laughs> that fabric's very warm so you can see it's starting to dry here there we go there now you can see it give it a twinkle and here's one that is just over the the orange color and the lovely thing about the um, sparkle is that it's holographic so it takes on the color of underneath so you can see that this looks orange and this looks pink it's the same sparkle it's just come on twinkle there we go it's so much better in real life but it's lovely isn't it which is gorgeous so yes the answer to that is yes you can mix it what 
just gone in it. Let me just clean that up, honestly. So yeah, that's another another technique there. So this hasn't got any sparkle on it at all. And again, you can just pick out areas that you want to add it to and it'll give you that lovely shimmer and shine. Okay, so that's that one. Let me just move that out of the way. Let me just clean up a sec. Just bear with, talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Gwen, hello Gwen. Susan, hello. Just clean that. Give me a second. Right, so next what I'd like to show you before we go on to the resin is I think I've got those mixed up. Anyway, I'll sort those out later. So um I covered it up because then it's it's this page here. So what I've got here is loads of layers of luscious. Okay, so on the back, do you remember that we've just done this piece here on some uh, card that was left over? And you get this beautiful, gorgeous texture coming through. So that's what I've got at the back here. Then this piece is actually a piece of um, stenciling with that super thick slap it on again, mixed with the luscious. So it's exactly the same as this, but onto card. And then this piece is uh, coloured in like we did on week one of the Luscious Techniques. And then I'm going to show you how we did this one here. Okay. And just so that you know, this one here, really, really sparkly white butterfly and the Hope, that's done with the Magic Sparkles. So the Magic Sparkles gives you that white, glittery, high gloss look. Um, this one here is spraying the luscious onto a piece of card and then putting it through your dye machine. Okay, so then these are all just different techniques of luscious all layered up together. And of course, this is a piece of uh, wooden die cut. And this again is just coloured with luscious and then with the magic sparkles over the top. Okay. Bella's just asked, will there be new colours? Oh gosh, will there be new colours, Bella? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we've got um, we've got quite a few new new colours coming out next year. Um, the first lot will be released in January. Um, so yes, absolutely. Um, we've already got those in the pipeline. Um, right. So this is a piece of textured card. I'm just going to take a, a bigger brush on this. Now, as I showed you week one and week two, we can mix our luscious with water and we can create our paints, our watercolour paints with this. Now, how is this done? This is done by, let me find my um, olive, which is in Vintage Florals. So this is Olive Grove. So what we do is we take our brush, we dip it in water so it's nice and wet and then just pick up the colour and then into a palette. These palettes uh, we have for sale on our website and if you've got Luscious I would highly recommend you buy these because they are fantastic because when you're mixing them with water, even though they have got a binder in as well as the pigment and the mica, um, it means that because they're a watercolour now, you can actually just reconstitute them with water after they've dried out. So your luscious go a long, long way. So what I'm going to do with this olive grove is just paint this die cut feather. And olive grove, as you can see, is a duotone, so that's really gorgeous so this is like a goldy green so you can see how it just flashes differently okay i'll just wash my brush i'll give that a blast just to dry that off
and then I'm using a flat brush at the moment and I think what we should we do maybe we should do a bit of um, another green on the top what we've we got here um, we've got a bit of tealy blue um, we've got some green let's try a little bit of green and then a bit of maybe peacock and mermaid's tail is quite good so let's go for green so again oops let me just bring that in i'm sorry so the green is here and then just using the flat of your brush just touch the areas of your embossing and it just gives you that a really nice um raised look to your work there so that's really nice and subtle and very soft look at the flash oh it just never shows up fully on the cameras but i'm sure you can see it's gorgeous isn't it and again if you want to go with a little bit of a deeper color let's go into um this looks like poseidon blue there we go so again flat brush and just hit a few few little areas not all of it, just to add the depth to it. And again, just flash that around. And then what I've done with it is I've actually used some um, sparkles on there. So that is the fabric sparkles, but there's nothing to say that you can't actually use it on card or paper or MDF or whatever. So, so that's what I did there. And Brenda's just joined. So Hi just, Brenda. Just, just ask about watching it back later. If people don't know, there, there is a tab on Facebook for videos. Come closer and then they can hear you on the mic <clears throat> while I tidy up. Okay. Hi Brenda, so it's Alfie. Um, yeah, just in terms of watching it back, just in case you don't know, there is a tab on Facebook for all the videos. So you can just click on that and then you'll see all of the videos that we've done on all the Facebook Lives um, and you can watch them um, anytime. Okay, so thanks Alfie. So what I'm going to do now is again a little bit of um, stenciling and show you how the Lushes can soak up other products and take on an extra dimension. So with this one, I'm actually going to use Super Thick Slap It On and Unicorn Sparkles. So Unicorn Sparkles is our really famous ultra fine glitter. And this takes on the colour of what's underneath. So what I'm going to do is just take, where's my, there it is, my spatula. And I'm not going to take this down because I'm just going to do it really, really quickly because I want to fit in. Is that the time already? Mm -hmm. Oh no, where does this time go? I'm not going to have time to do me resin. What should I do, Alfie? New Year. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I always try and do too much. Okay, so that's the slap it on. If I left that, that would go clear. A little bit messy, but I wasn't concentrating. And then just chuck in your bottle of Unicorn Sparkles. You get a huge bottle, so you don't have to be precious with it. It's probably about three times the size of normal, you know, small pots of glitter. Because I used to get frustrated that, you know, they never gave you enough. So that's why we've given you this great big jar. Because it's ultra fine, you have loads in here. Okay, so... And that's how it looks when you've first done it and this is how it looks when it's dried mad isn't it so that's obviously still white the slap it on before it dries translucent and because the unicorn sparkles take on the color from underneath you can see that it, it's not black but it's sort of like a holographic blue it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and if you were to do it on white it would look like this but what i wanted to show you was how the luscious take on the colour okay so let me just show you that let's go with this okay so let's go for um orange which is in the verdigris set 
I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. So again, wet brush, dipped in, and then what I'm going to do is, I'll use the black one for this, I'm going to wet this down. I'm going to take the Luscious, load up my brush and pull it across the top of the card. Okay, can you see that? It's just like cleaning your brush off and just pulling it across so that it, it offloads all that colour. And then give it a bit of a helping hand with some water and then watch that just drain on down. Just help it along there. What else should we put on there? Let's go with the warmth, the warm colours here. So this is raspberry. So again, wet brush, mix it in. Brenda, nice to see you. It's been ages. It's Brenda I just spoke to. Oh, weird. I didn't realise it was that Brenda. <laughs> No, you didn't say a, a surname, you see. I didn't look. Okay. I didn't look up. Anne, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. And then this is raspberry. Okay, so again, not too much water, but just help it along to start coming down. And if you want to, just help it a little bit. Can you see how it takes on the colour here? And just put a bit more water on there. There we go. And with the orange. And that will just mix in nicely there. And I think let's go for a metallic here. We are out on time, it's not going to um, cut Don't us know. off. We'll see. I'm hoping it won't cut us off. Okay, so this is gold, just plain gold, and this is a really lovely gold, this. So I'm just going to come in here and start this one off. Okay, you can see there, so it needs a bit more help, so I'm going to give it some water. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. So you can see what's happening, let it just drip down and I'm just helping it along and the black card is lovely because you can really see all that luscious colour and look what's happening to those feathers, it's taking on the colour of whatever's run over it. So instead of finishing that because of the time, I'm just going to show you, so it takes on the colour of whatever you've put on it. So this is like lemon and a pale blue and a bullfinch. This is um, a normal slap it on, um, no it's not, it's our um, pure true grit. So it's a gritty type of texture paste. But this is the same technique as this, but with just a little bit of blue and purple running down it. Okay, if you want to do it onto glitter card, it looks fantastic. This is what it looks like on glitter card. Look at that. It's just to die for. So these are just a few more of the techniques um, that you can do with the Luscious. So next time I'm going to show you what you can do with beautiful resin. We have our own diamond resin kits which I'm going to show you. Before I go let me just show you this. So this is the slap it on stenciled through no glitter put on it at all and then when it's dry just do exactly what we did here which is just let it run down. Again the same technique with only a little bit of glitter on this is the glitter card. It's just this, just, you can tell I enjoy it, can't you? Because <laughs> look at all these samples I've been playing with, with 
so just get out your stencils have a play grab yourself some unicorn sparkles and away you go um, play with your slap it on it's just so much fun you wouldn't believe and it looks it looks great so i hope you've enjoyed this installment it looks like it's going to run run so join us for the do you want to come back up to me? Mm -hmm. Just uh, put your chair down a bit. Put your chair down. There we go. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, we are back in the new year because obviously we're having Christmas off. So uh, when will it be? Fourth. The 4th. So the 4th of January, we'll be back and I'll carry on with the luscious techniques and we'll have a play with the um, diamond resin, which is this one here. Okay, I just want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas or a Happy Han uh, Hanukkah um, and um, hope you're all well and safe and uh, we're going to have a much better year next year. Okay, good to see you all. Thanks very much. Say goodbye, Alfie. Goodbye. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>